People have been searching what is the best camera for photography, and that's a hard question to answer because if you look at features and speed, etc., uh, the answer kind of changes every six to 12 months, it seems, uh, technically. There's also arguments for you know, crop sensor, which is APS-C, 35 millimeter micro four thirds, medium format, and even digital versus film. Even worse, you have multiple brands all making these things and most of them make multiple sensor sizes and they're all competing with each other in a century long game of one-upmanship and release times are, you know, more and more frequent at the same time they're less consistent and <sighs> it's just hard. Consumers also don't seem to be happy with their cameras for more than a year anymore and they're always wanting more and more and more features and stuff that they'll probably actually never use. But you're not going to be that person. I'm glad you're here. Welcome to the Z-Wade Photo YouTube channel. Did you know that you can get some awesome perks by becoming a member of the Z-Wade Photo YouTube channel? Awesome perks like content recommendations, early access to all videos, unique member only videos, and uncut or uncensored videos. Not everything on YouTube is able to be monetized. And if it can't be monetized, YouTube don't like it. But as a member, you'll get access to everything that YouTube deems unworthy of its algorithm. So fight the man by becoming a member of the Z-Wade Photo YouTube channel today. Let's make this very simple because I'm assuming if you're searching, you're not a career photographer and maybe even brand new to photography. So that's how I'm gonna structure this video. And when we're done, you'll be able to answer the question for yourself, what is the best camera for photography? One, remember that glass is always better than cameras in the long run. Your camera will age, but a well taken care of lens should last. It doesn't have a shutter life, you know? Two, figure out what kind of photography is most appealing to you right off the bat. Example, sports and wildlife. Sorry, it's the most expensive stuff. But if street photography and portraits appeal to you the most, you don't need a fast camera at all. Three, research each brand to find out what their strengths and weaknesses are. But remember, every brand is making good cameras these days. As a little side note about Nikon versus Canon, Personally, I think Canon has traditionally made more tech-focused cameras that one-up Nikon a bit, before Nikon has to then match or try to beat them in the next edition, while Nikon has generally, in my opinion, always made better lenses. Not that Canon hasn't made some seriously sexy glass, but at the very least, Nikon has a higher percentage of their lenses that are in the great to sexy category uh, than others, at, at least in 35 millimeter. I ain't talking Hasselblads where it's like $12,000 for like God tier glass and $5,000 for the affordable ones. Four, you should buy from a camera store, but first go to any store that has all of these brands on display and hold each one to find out which one feels the best in your hand. Every manufacturer has a different idea of what design and ergonomics are, and the best camera features mean nothing if they aren't comfortable in your hand. A perfect example being, you can't deny that Sony makes great mirrorless cameras, but their cameras dig in just over the center of my hand, right there. So personally, unless Sony decides to change their ergonomics, I can never be a Sony shooter. Five, with one through four worked out, buy a camera that you can afford without getting a loan or a credit card. If it feels good in your hand, you will use it with excitement. And that's the number one best camera for photography. I'm Z-Wade, the Z-Wade, in Z-Wade Photo. Stay sharp, YouTube.